What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to yet another episode of the Let's Play. Today is episode 12, and we have a lot of stuff to get done today. I'm, ve I'm very excited, today is going to be a pretty awesome episode. So, I have a few plans today, and I think today is going to be a little bit of a building day, but we're going to build a ton of stuff, so it's going to be very, very fun. Um, but first things first, is it nighttime? Good, good, it is. Okay, so the first build, believe it or not, oh, <laughs> what are you doing in here, buddy? You're not really my buddy, though, so unfortunately I'm going to have to kill you. I don't know, what's up with the spiders always getting stuck on the ceilings like that? Well, anyways, um, this first build is very different because it actually requires me to be playing at nighttime. I can't do this in the daytime, so maybe that'll help you guys figure out what I'm doing. If not, you'll see right about now when I grab the supplies I need. So I'm going to be making a few things this episode, like I said. The first thing is going to be a mushroom house. Now, if you guys have ever seen a mushroom house, they're really, really awesome. And I'm going to get this pig out of my house. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so if, if you haven't seen them before... You you definitely are gonna like these. These are really really cool. So first things first I got to clear the area of all these bad monsters. Okay, there we go So I think I want the mushroom to be Somewhere around this area, so we'll clear out a little bit of grass here And I think this is perfect right here. So maybe put the mushroom right mm. You know what I should probably kick this back just a tiny bit just a tiny bit We can kick this back just a tiny bit. There we go. That looks fine. Okay, so I'll put the mushroom right there. Right here. Right on that block. So, we'll mark it, I guess. I didn't really mean to do that. <laughs> and then we'll place it. Now I can't place it. No, I gotta get the dirt back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so, there we go. Now that it's nighttime, we can place mushrooms. Because remember, if it's too light outside, you can't have the mushrooms, uh, you can't place the mushrooms down. Now that it's dark, I can place the mushrooms, and you can actually bone meal these guys. And if you do it, enough times there we go we've got ourselves a pretty awesome mushroom so there it is look at that now you can actually make a nice house out of these which is pretty sweet but first things first i have some business to attend to this zombie needs to die get over here buddy ah okay there we are he dropped some rotten flesh for us thank you buddy um, okay, so this is what we're working with now. This is the mushroom that I'm going to make a house out of. Now, you, you may be wondering, how are you going to do that? Well, I'll show you. It's a really cool idea. I don't know who came up with this idea. It's very clever. I think it's a rather popular thing to do. But if you guys haven't seen it before, uh, it's pretty awesome. So what you got to do is basically just add a floor and add some ladders and... That's really it. It's not very hard at all. So what I'll do now is I'll make a few different uh, supplies. I'll need some slabs. And I'll also need some ladders. And I think I should probably just get be safe and I'll make a few more. So there we go. Two sets of ladders. So we'll have four ladders. And the way this works is it's really, really cool. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who came up with it, but it's a really awesome idea. It's an instant house. So if you're ever... Um, if you're ever stranded at nighttime and you need some sort of um, place to go and you happen to have a mushroom and a bone meal, it works perfectly because it's nighttime, you can hide from mobs, and it's really simple to make. You just put the mushroom on the ground and grow it. And once it's in the daytime, um, you'll have no trouble surviving because um, you'll be living in the house and everything will be good. Also... Um, th unlike the small mushrooms, when a mushroom grows up, it doesn't need to be daytime for it to, for it to work. So, it can, or, no, it doesn't need to be nighttime for it to work. So, basically, once you set up your big mushroom, you don't have to worry about it disappearing. You're perfectly fine. So, this is where I want to put the floor. I want to, uh, put the floor like this. Oh, come on, let me get that last one in there. Perfect. So, yeah, once you get this set up, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be nighttime anymore. So, you basically have a, a nice little house to live in. Also, what you can do is, if you want to, you can carve out to the sides like this, um, so you can look around and see what's out there. But I think it's a lot better if you don't do what I just did, because I think, 
Um, I was supposed to go one down. Yeah, I should have got. I should have broke the middle one. I should have broke the middle one. Well, uh, well, this is where the situation comes in because now I think I have to just make another mushroom. So you know what we'll do is we'll harvest this one. We'll harvest it. I, I messed up that. Yeah, I messed up the mushroom, and you can't actually get the mushroom blocks back. So you actually do have to harvest it like this if you mess up. But once you harvest it, you'll actually get a ton of new mushrooms, which is good because then I don't have to do this again. As you can see, sometimes these will drop mushrooms. Come on, come on. You gonna drop any? I wonder what what mines mushrooms fast. Is it swords? It is swords. That's really fast, actually. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good speed. So yeah, you can mine the mushrooms up with your sword. And so I guess we'll be making more than one. I guess we'll be making two today. Two mushroom houses, although I'm only going to keep one. I've already messed this one up. But yeah, so mushroom houses are really cool. You can also make them out of the brown mushrooms. But it is a little bit harder because they grow differently. So you kind of have to add a few more blocks. You, you have to add a lot more than a floor just to make it uh, a house. So... I, I like the red mushrooms. Plus, they look really cool. The red polka dots, it looks pretty awesome. I do have to finish this before daytime, though. I can't let it become day. So I gotta hurry up. I think it's actually becoming day right now, isn't it? It is, it is. I gotta get this second one growing. Okay, there we go. Let's place, let's place the mushroom down. Maybe we'll get a different size this time. Okay, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? There we go! And is it- no, it is the exact same! Perfect! So I won't mess this one up this time? Hopefully not anyways. So I'll place our ladders back. And then this time, I'll, I guess- I guess what I'll do is I'll just put it- uh, put the slabs- oh gee, what in the world? I'll put the slabs on the bottom. So it'll be like this. Oh, come on. There we go. It's so hard to play this on split touch controls for some reason. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, and there we go, perfect. So now that we have that set, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well that's, <laughs> that's not as bad as it could have been. It didn't blow up the mushrooms, because if it blew up the mushroom, I would have had to grow yet another mushroom. <laughs> so the creeper just did explode, but he did not take out um, anything too valuable. So I guess we could just place this dirt back. It's a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying, but if he if, if he tore down the mushroom, I would have had to redo so many different mushrooms. All right, we do we, we will need to go grab some more. Uh, so <laughs> we will need to grab some more dirt and sand to fix that. But overall, not too bad. So we've made the mushroom house. Now it's time to actually go inside and see what we can do inside the mushroom house. So let's go ahead and put away some of this extra stuff. I don't really need any of this. Um, do I have any more sand though? I do. Okay, I have plenty of sand. Awesome. 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 So, we'll get the sand and the dirt out. And where was that Enderman? I don't want this Enderman in the house. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He's gonna go in the lake. He's gonna start teleporting everywhere. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Okay, I think I'm gonna try to kill it. No, no, I'm not. Is he good? Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, where are you going, Mr. Enderman? Just don't take any of my blocks. I'm not going to kill it. Just don't take any of my blocks, please. Don't start taking all these random blocks. I, I worked hard. I worked hard for this land, man. All right, there we go. And I think that looks good. Yeah, that's just about what it was. Uh, okay, so there we go. Now we have the second mushroom house. And this one, I have to be very careful. I have to actually break the middle one. There we go. So I break the middle one there. And then I'll break the middle one uh, right there. Perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll have windows. And they're not easy to see out of, um, but it, it just looks nice. So basically, uh, what I'll do is I'll go down here. Oh, come on. I'll go down here. I guess I could grab some grass planes. No, not grass planes. Glass panes, maybe. That's a better, that's a better idea. Yeah, we'll grab some glass panes, and we can fix those up, make the windows look nice, and we can also grab a few saplings to plant a few trees around the area. So let's go ahead and do all that now. Let's put some books away, put all this extra garbage away that I don't really need right now. And do I have saplings, huh? Let's see. Do I have saplings or the glass panes? Well, there are the glass panes. Oh, and here are a ton of saplings. Jeez. Okay, perfect. So I guess I should only grab two glass panes. I don't want to go overboard. I only need two, so we'll just keep two. There we go. Perfect. So now we'll get the saplings and the grass planes out. I keep calling them grass planes. <laughs> Definitely not grass planes. Glass panes would be the term I'm looking for. Okay, so now that we have these guys, I guess we could just plop them in over here. And there we go. So the mushroom house... I hate myself. 
<laughs> I have to go back to get a- I should have brought the whole stack. Anyways, we'll just act like that didn't happen. Now we'll go ahead and grow some trees around the area to make it look a little bit nicer. And that's a huge tree! That's awesome looking. I love huge trees. Okay, so then maybe one right here as well. I don't know, I don't want it to disturb the mushroom. We'll, we'll find out if this is gonna work. Awesome! Vines as well! I love vines. That's awesome! Okay, so there we go. And then maybe one more tree... Uh, do we need another? Maybe a small tree just right here. Maybe a really small tree. Just be nice. Just give me a small tree. There we go. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But for now, that's fine. For now, I'll, I'll take it. That's fine. And now what I'll do is I'll just spice up the ground here by planting some bone meal. And I think this looks pretty good. Now, of course, I'm going to have to wait for all the dirt to, to grow over into grass. But I think it looks fine. So that's what the mushroom house looks like now. Pretty cool, and I don't know. Could I put vines on that? Would that would that work? I don't know. Maybe we could try. We could try to put vines on it for now. We could try. But um another thing that I wanted to get done today, I don't know if we will, but we could at least start it. Um I wanted to maybe try to use some glowstone and eventually get an animal farm started. Now it's pro it's a lot easier to make an animal farm than a tree farm just because all you gotta do is put a fence, but we'll find out. Also, I wanted to use some of this glowstone. I was thinking um, oh, I'll show you guys over here. I put, I fixed the bookshelf, and I put some glowstone up there so that no more monsters will spawn in here. Good idea, right? And it also illuminates the books. I think it looks pretty cool. I was maybe thinking we could possibly replace these wooden blocks right here with glowstone. So like that. And then like this. And then I'll need to do one more. Uh, I'll need to craft one more. And then I think... I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. You guys will have to let me know what you think. But for now, I think that's a pretty awesome idea. And then I can get rid of the torches because the room is going to be lit up by glowstone, which is way cooler than torches. So I can save some torches and, uh, and, and look cooler in the process. So I'm liking it. I think I'm liking it. Let's get rid of those torches there and these torches over here. So there we go. Yeah, I like it. Okay, very, very nice. And then over here, we can place some more torches um, so that no monsters come in here. So the under construction part, unfortunately, is going to stay under construction. But for now, the rest of the house looks pretty cool. And I guess I should probably put some torches up here. And then I'll put some torches over here as well. And then, uh, what else do I I guess I can put some torches there. And then that's enough for this room. So there we go. Now everything looks nice and organized. So... Ah, uh, there we have it. Oh, and I should probably grab another glass pane if I didn't already, do I? Yes, there we go. Perfect. So, we've got the gra glass pane. Now, we should probably go try to see what the vines look like on the tree, or on, on the mushroom, as well as uh, put this other glass pane in there. Now, if I mess this one up, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> What's up, sheep? How's it going, buddy? I could use your wool sooner or later. For now, there we go. So I didn't mess that one up. Can I put vines on it? I can. Awesome. That's going to look pretty cool. So we'll let the vines spread out. And I think they're going to make it look really, really awesome. So that's going to be very exciting. And uh, I should probably also fix this up. Because I don't, like when the, I don't like when you can see the grass under the tree trunk. So we'll fix this up really quick. Quick fix. There we go. Perfect. Just added a little bit of... Uh, Added a little bit of aesthetic value there, so that looks nice. And, uh, yeah, okay, so... I don't know, I think it looks good. Oh, and we should also probably fix the dock. And then I think there was a torch on that as well. I didn't realize that, I didn't realize the creeper exploded the dock. Okay, well, there we have it, perfect. So, now we have this little lookout tower. Now, of course, it's not as good from the inside as the outside. It's very cramped in here. Um, you'd understand, though, it, it makes sense that it's cramped. And, uh, actually, I like that up here. Maybe up there and up there. Yeah, that's good. So you can see out of it. You just have to go to the back of the room to see out of it. So it's not too convenient, but it's a very nice, uh, quick base to make. And I can visit up here sometimes. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a lot. It's It looks really, really nice, in my opinion. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, so there it is, the mushroom house. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, I wanted to make an animal farm, like I said in this episode. And I don't know exactly where I would like to make it. Maybe on that hill? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe out back over here would be cool. Should I make the animal farm back here? You know what? That's a good idea. Let's make it back here. Why not? So we'll figure this out. 
first I want to fill up this hole that was created by a creeper a long time ago. Alright, this was a while ago. You guys may not even remember back to the episode, but I'll fill up this. Uh, there we go. That, that works for me. So, and then I should probably just fill this up as well. There we are. Perfect. So, where could I make this animal farm? Well, this isn't a bad area here at all. This really isn't a bad area. So, what I can do now is I can just start, I don't know, shaping the land here to fit a farm. So, what we can do is we can um, get a little bit of this grass broken. And you guys will see exactly what I'm doing. I, I like to make my farms a specific way. Uh, so you'll see. Animal farm. Animal field. Animal pasture. This will hold maybe some cows, some pigs, some sheep. And then we'll make actual specific pens for pigs and sheep in the near future. But for now, we'll just use this. So let's see. There'll be a nice little, uh, they'll have a nice little cutout, uh, which is going to be pretty cool looking. So we'll start placing some torches to make sure I don't get attacked by any monsters. And there we go. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, geez. Let me get the, let me get the sword out. Don't blow up my land again. I don't want to have two explosions in one episode. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, where were we? Well, I think... Let's see. I should probably fill in this land as well, so I'll do this now. Um, I'll just go ahead and fill this up really quick. Just take a second here. Excuse me, sheep. You gotta get out of the way, buddy. You gotta get out of my way. I, I, I'm going here. I'm going. I'm trying to fill up this land. And once I do this... Um, I think that, I think the animal farm is actually gonna look pretty cool, because w what it's gonna be is, if you guys remember my older Let's Play a while back, if you were uh, a viewer of the channel, um, I use a nice wood pattern along the walls. You'll see exactly what it looks like. I think it looks cool. It fits into the mountains. It's pretty awesome. And you can also make little under underground areas so they can the mobs can hide from the rain or hide from the darkness. It's really cool. I, I like it. I like it. So, excuse me, sheep again. Why, why are you over here? Why are you pushing me around? I'm trying to I'm trying to set you up a nice little area to live in. I think I think you'll like it. I hope you will anyways. So yeah, there we go. And over here what I could do is I could have a path to the house this way. And I could have a path, and then there will be a little gate here. So that's going to be cool. Um, and then this should probably be cut off as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's cut this off. Um, oh, not into the not into the stone. Not into the stone. I don't want to go into that. Uh, should I? Let's see. Should I is the question. Hmm. I think I should go up to here. Yeah, so up to here is what I'll do. Up to here is what I'll do. And I don't think it's going to mess up any of the trees. No, it's not. Perfect. So we're good. Just go up to here. Break all of this stuff. And there we go. And then I think I'll go have a pickaxe. Do I have a pickaxe? Perfect. I do. Awesome. So we'll get all this. And then we'll put the dirt back in there. Okay, so that is what the pasture is going to be for now. For now. And then I could probably cut out this side as well. Or I could just leave the hill. I think I'll leave the hill. We'll see how it looks. But first things first, we got to go over here and make a ton of fences. And, uh, oh, what are you doing? Again, the same spot, too. What's up with these spiders, man? I don't know how they're getting into my house all, all the time. But whatever. I mean, whatever works, man. They just sit in the top. They never hit me anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and take a nice night's sleep. And we'll get back to working on the farm. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I think what we should do is, like I said, I think we should craft up some fences uh, to get the farm going. And I'll also need a lot of planks as well. So let's get all this going. And let's get a few sticks going here. And we'll get a few planks going there. No, not planks. Fences going there. So let's see. How many fences is that? 39 fences. And that left us with no planks. So let's see. Do we have any more planks in here? Oh, we have some more fences, which is exciting. And more planks? No. So we're out of wood besides this. Okay. So I will need to go fetch some more wood. Uh, and I may do that off camera. We'll see. But for now, um, what I want to do is start with, the f uh, start with the farm. So let's see. This will go here. And then this will go here. Get out of there. Get out of the torch. All right. This will go there. And then um, this is where the... Uh, the wood will start. So the wood will start there. The wood will go all the way over here, I believe. And then we can start working on making this uh, safe for monsters to not go in. 
to not go in. And then I think I could probably cut it off, let's say... Mm, let's say right on this one. So I don't need to go this far. I don't need to go this far. Let's go right here. Perfect. So we'll take this out. And I think I'll need to use two fences here just to be safe. No, I don't think so. I think I'll be good with one. I think I'll be good with one, right? And there's no animals getting out of that. I think that should be fine. Um, and then what we can do is we can continue making the fence uh, like this. And then this is where I'll have to do something like that. And then we can put this here. Okay. I'm liking the way this is coming out so far. So the animals won't be able to get out, which is exciting. I don't want that to happen. No, no, no. And then what we'll do is we'll just... Uh, excuse me, cow. Why are all these animals getting in my way? It's so weird. It's so weird. Okay. So now what we can do is we can move this over one. Uh, yeah, and then we'll go down here. And then the gate will be right there. And then we can push this over a little bit. And then the wood will be right there, so the wood will connect to that. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can chop some of this down to make it look nicer. And that is that. So that is what the farm is going to look like. Now, you guys may be thinking, what? That's so ugly. Just wait. Just wait a second. Just wait till I get the wood. Just wait until I get the wood, and you guys will see this thing is going to come together. But first, I have to find the wood. Oh, do I still have a ton of bone meal? Oh, I do. I have bone meal and saplings. Perfect. Awesome. So I don't have to go anywhere. I can just make some trees right here. Make some trees right in my own backyard. So let's plant a few saplings here. There we go. Very nice. And we can bone meal all of these guys up. Let's bone meal them. Uh-oh. Some creepers now? Uh-oh, geez. He's coming over here. I'll just let him be. I'll just let him be. I'm fine with that. He can just... Oh, what in the world? Come on, buddy. There we go. Took a little bit of encouragement, but he's there. Oh, that's a huge one. All right, so leave that one. I don't want to have to chop that whole thing down. And it looks pretty nice. I like the big trees. So we'll leave that there. And then we'll just grab these other two guys. And that'll that'll give us a few planks. So we can get the rest of this uh, done. Maybe I may have to do some off-camera work. Uh, because I may go past the time limit of this episode. We'll find out. Though. We'll see what happens. So let's jump down into the farm and get to working. So I don't need a crafting table for this. Just go into my inventory here and craft up some planks. And that ought to be enough to get some good progress. Some good progress. So, 56 planks. Uh, and you guys will see what this is going to look like. It's going to be very good. It's going to be very good. So, this is what this is how I do my farms. This is how I do my farms. So, like that. And, I, and I'll make it look nicer eventually. But for now, <laughs> as always, the builds start off pretty ugly looking. But they get better. I, I like to think they get better. So... Let's see, and then we'll go up like this, put two planks there, and two planks there, and two planks there, and two planks there, and then um, over one, and then this is where we'll go down. Perfect. So we'll go like this. Okay, and then we'll go over one, and is that a spider that's going to try to kill me? Is he going to try to come over here and kill me? No, I think he's just relaxing. Okay, I'll let him be. I'll let him be. And then the wood can go like this. Oh, not there, not there. No, 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 no. Right here, perfect. So we'll leave the wood there. And then the wood can go here. And then the wood can go here and here. Perfect. So that is what the farm is going to look like. And then the wood will actually go along. The fences will actually go along all of the wood. Just to stop any monsters from falling into the farm. Because I don't want that either. I don't want mo I don't want animals leaving. And I don't want monsters joining the animals. So that's what it's going to look like. And then a really, really cool thing I do. At least, a cool, at least I think it's a cool thing that I do. Is what you can do with this design. Is you can actually make little, uh, make little places for the animals to go. So, like, I can make a nice little, uh, my nice little cave in here. So that the animals, I can push this back a little bit. As long as, oh yeah, space permits, perfect. So I can use this to basically, oh, I don't have any more shovels. But basically what I'll do is I'll kick this back a little bit and make an indoor area for the animals to go, which is, I think, really cool. And if you go back to my older Let's Play, maybe search up pig pen on my channel, you can find it, and uh, that's what I like to do. So unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough time to do that in this episode, but we can continue working on that later. For now, I just need to get a few more planks going, and uh, we should be fine. So I guess I'll... Just make a few trees over here, and then we'll get a few more planks, and then we can go ahead and end the episode. So let's see what we can do. Let's grab, unless this was a big tree. Oh, it was a big tree. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I'll put these planks back. I'm sorry to bother you, buddy. 
<laughs> Don't want to mess with the big trees today. Oh, no. All right, so let's see. Let's see. No big tree. Perfect. No big tree. Awesome. And we only need a few more pieces of wood anyways because we already have 17 in the inventory. So let's grab these. And our axe is gone. So that's the last of the wood chopping we'll do in this episode. Hopefully, anyways. So we can craft, I think, a few more planks. 20 more planks. That'll give us 37 planks in total, which means I should be able to finish this. Hopefully I can. At least at least the wood part. I'll have to do the fences later, but for now it is what it is. So let's see. And then we'll add a little bit of a gradual arch up there. So, yeah, that looks good. And then we'll add this to that. Oh, not there. Not today. Not today. Not today. Now i got to break it without an axe. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. And let's go over a bit. And then, oh, that worked out fine. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, so then I'll probably take this up one. That up a few. This goes like this. Then like this. And then maybe uh, maybe we could just place a few here. There we go. So now i got to fill all this in. Um, oh, and that's actually, I don't actually need to do this. So let me save a few blocks here. I think I just had a good idea. Let me save a few blocks by just uh, getting rid of all of these. And I could fill it in with dirt, save a few blocks, and I think I'll be able to finish with all the wood I have. And then we can call it an episode. So it was a pretty successful episode, this video, guys. We got a lot of stuff done. So four, that is enough. Perfect, just enough. So I'll fill this in with dirt so no monsters will spawn inside. And then I can simply place these four blocks like this. And we are basically done. Not all the way done, but basically done. So that was the mob farm. So we'll have to get some animals in here next time and finish up the fences. But for now, that is pretty cool. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did like it, please uh, drop a like to show that you liked it. It makes sense, right, doesn't it? <laughs> hope you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.